All right, I uh, just got this package in, and I opened it already because I had no idea what it was. I was, I forgot what I'd ordered. I couldn't think of what it would be, so I opened it up to see what it was, and I remembered after I opened it, I had ordered uh, the cheapest possible waterproof case from eBay for uh, my GoPro Hero first gen. Uh, comes with the. Uh, Pretty clear instructions about how to care for it and how to keep uh, from, from like what causes leaks and how to keep leaks from happening and how to protect your camera. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's uh, got this weird tape stuff around it. That's actually, it's not really a tape, it's like a screen protector. Uh, overall, initial quality looks pretty good. Uh, it's got. Uh, it get, got a bubble style lens on the front. I don't know what the authentic ones really look like. I haven't handled too many of them. Uh, but it came with this little clip mount, which is pretty cool because that fits with the ones from the uh, that generic one I had. Uh, right off the bat, everything looks pretty good. It feels pretty solid. The only thing that looks like it might be a problematic would be the clasp here. Because if you look, there's there's no metal. Even like most of them have some kind of metal spring or some kind of metal bar across there to keep it from to keep it stronger, to keep it from breaking apart. This one is solid plastic, so it just seems like to me like it would break easy. Uh, another possible issue, I'm gonna have to test it out. Make sure I test it without the camera in it for the waterproof part, because it looks like it like you can squeeze it. Like there might be a a gap in there, but uh. It does fit the camera. Make sure. Fits. Buttons. The buttons stick a little. They're a little bit hard to push. Uh, as you can see there. That works. That works. But it feels like they stick a little. Like it's, it's recording right now. But uh, it, it just it feels like it sticks a little to me. But apparently it doesn't because now it stopped recording. But uh, I'll probably take it outside and get some test shots with it, with the with and without the coat case. And then I'll probably also do the underwater test. I'll probably do the underwater test first just to make sure. Because that's the most important thing, honest, obviously. There we go. And, well, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get it snapped up here. Uh, I took the lighting off, so the lighting looks a little funky here. Uh, and I don't know if you can see them or not, but over here in the uh, in the rock there is a a new fish I just added. It's a little catfish. I needed something to clean the keep the bottom clean, eat all the food that the others don't, and he's doing pretty well so far. But anyway, here's this. See if there's any. I saw a bubble, but I'm not seeing any other bubbles. So it looks like it's holding up pretty well. Let's take it out and see. Now, to really know uh, if it worked right, I'm going to have to dry the outside completely, and if there's any moisture on the inside, it's not working. So, I'll be back. Alright. Uh, since I'm here, hang on. Since I've been messing around, the other ones are scared to hiding. It's hiding here in the rocks, and then the catfish is in that one. But anyway, I towel dried it, and uh, it held up. There's no moisture in it, there's no other water, nothing in the buttons. Uh, it held up, it worked, so. All right, right now, uh, doing a test for the video and audio quality without the case on it. Uh, the video might be a little bit messed up because I just noticed a small crack on the end of the lens 
which is probably my fault from having stuff hit it while I'm fishing, all kinds of stuff. It's another reason you might need a case like this. But uh, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the case and try the quality like that. Here's the uh, video audio quality test with the case on. I don't know what it looks like, but and also I just look at the settings. It might have been off. I might have to re-record the, uh, the no case test. I don't know if you can hear me or not. All right, so I just ran the. Uh, still got a little bit of water. Actually, that was on the inside, but I think it came from the outside. I don't think it was a leak or anything. But anyway, uh, just ran the quality test of audio video. I've got it transferring on the computer right now, so I'm already editing this video while I'm still recording it. Uh, it seems to work. Uh, you should have seen the. Uh, the two quality tests already you've already seen the underwater test it also has this which is pretty neat a lot of them I don't see this because there's usually a screen on the back but it's got a nice piece of foam there to hold it in place uh, to keep tension keep everything tight so yeah so far it, it looks pretty good uh, I'll let you be the judge of that when you see the difference between the, the GoPro quality with and without it so uh, there is actually a difference between the two mostly audio but there is a visual difference too uh, it's not a terrible difference but you'll see it and I'll let you be the judge at, on it uh, these go for about six dollars on eBay and I know in my last review video on that website I told everybody not to, to go out and buy the dollar selfie stick to hold your five hundred dollar phone uh, it's kind of the same thing but I'm not planning on doing a whole lot of underwater stuff. I don't swim that... I, don't, I mean, I like to swim. I don't. I don't scuba dive. I don't do anything like that. So, uh, it'll serve its purpose for some basic underwater shots. But it, it probably won't be a, a permanent solution. It's not something you could have underwater for hours at a time. I think after a while, the seal will give out and it'll start leaking in. So, uh... For basic shots, or if you're on a boat and you're worried you might drop it or something, it's great. Uh, well, not necessarily great, but it'll work. It'll keep it dry if you accidentally dropped it. Uh, biggest issue is the audio. You can you can hear what I'm saying, but I mean that's how all the cases are, even on the legitimate ones, not just the Chinese ones. It's not really anything you can do about that. But at least on this one, you can actually hear what I'm saying. It doesn't completely plug up the sound, so. Yeah, well, that's about it. It's about $6 on eBay. I'll probably put the link down in the description down there if you're interested in looking at what it is. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got for now.